Hello, welcome to my channel, Les Gourmets de Blanche. My name is Blanche. Thank you for stopping by. Today we are going to do a little traveling and go to Africa to try one of the most popular recipes there. La sauce tomate pour les francophones and generally known here in the US as African tomato stew. You know, Africa is a continent with the most diverse cuisine, from north to south, east to west, and throughout the center, you will find exceptional recipes with lots in common. One of these recipes is the African tomato stew. You can use any proteins you like, uh, but the core recipe is the same. This dish is rich, savory, tasty, with a kick of spiciness. It is usually served with steamed rice, cooked roots such as yam or yucca, or even plantain or fufu. Fufu is a dough-like uh, food, and I will give more detail about it later in the video. Today I'm going to show you how to make my version of this staple dish, my gourmet sauce tomate au boeuf, that I will serve with sauté spinach and fufu rice on the side. Now let's get busy in the kitchen. Here is an overview of all the ingredients we are going to use in today's recipe. The ingredient list and the recipes are in the description box for you. Here I have my meat, which is oven roasted short rib. I have a separate video showing how I prep uh, my meat. Diced onion and leek, and my tomato and bell pepper that I already prepped. I have a separate video for that. And all the spices that I'm going to use, I will go over them during cooking. For the sauté spinach, I have about 20 ounces of baby spinach that I've already prepped by pouring boiling water on it. Let it sit for a couple minutes and squeeze out the water. Onion, leek, mixed bell pepper, and I'm going to use the same spices to season my spinach. The last ingredients are for the rice fufu. I have one cup of rice I just grinded and about two tablespoons of starch, potato starch, and of course we are going to use water to make our fufu. Now let's start cooking. Starting with the ribs, I always use short ribs to cook African food that calls for beef because it's full of flavor, the texture is right, and can cook without falling apart. A good African dish is usually cooked for a minimum of two and a half hours, so select your meat wisely. In Africa, the beef is usually seared in the pot in a good amount of oil until brown. This process helps develop a unique flavor that will blend with the tomato sauce. That's the step I bypass because it requires a lot of oil. Roasting my meat in the oven gives me the same result minus the extra fat. Since our meat is already roasted, we are going to heat our oil and fry the onion and leek first before adding um, our meat. So uh, the process took me about eight minutes to get to a golden light brown um, color of my leek and onion. Now I'm going to add my meat and continue to fry for a few more minutes, making sure that my meat is absorbing the leek and onion flavor. Next, add the tomato and bell pepper paste. Continue to fry to develop flavor. Remember to control your heat. You are in charge. Be sensitive to what you are cooking. Don't let the process take over and burn your food.
After a good 5 to 10 minutes of frying, start seasoning your food. First, add some garlic salt. Then, follow with salt, black pepper, of course my green seasoning, then continue the frying process. Mix well to develop more flavor. Follow with some paprika, mix well, and add your garlic. I'm just crushing mine right in the pot. Never stop mixing and frying. That's what this recipe is all about. Now add the tomato paste. Add a little bit of water to allow you to mix well and deglaze the pot a little bit. Next, add your ground dry shrimp and some bouillon powder. At this point, the smell of what you are cooking should intensify as flavor is developing during the frying process. Finish the seasoning with the bay leaf and depending on how tender is your meat, add the required amount of water. I'm adding enough water to completely submerge my meat and add my last ingredient which is the habanero pepper. Turn the stove on high and let your sauce reduce for 45 minutes to an hour. So it's been an hour, now I'm going to turn the heat down and let the stew simmer until the sauce thickens and the meat is fork tender. Then after that, I'm going to add the finishing touch, which is chopped parsley and a mixture of water and flour. So it's been another hour, now our stew is ready for the final touch. Add the flour and water mixture, follow with the chopped parsley, cook for another minute or so, and done! Our sauce tomate au boeuf is ready. Look at this, it, this, is, this is so good. <laughs> uh, please try, try, try the recipe, you won't be disappointed. Now let's move on to our sautéed spinach. This recipe is very easy. I'm just going to throw my onion, leek, and mixed bell pepper in the pot. I always add the green bell pepper because it gives a specific taste to that dish, which is very similar to the original taste in Africa because of its bitterness. So follow the step on the screen and I'm going to give you a little bit more information about this dish. Eating leafy green in Africa uh, on a daily basis is really common. Leafy green are nutritious, improve metabolism, maintain blood pressure level, prevent anemia, good for skin and more. So in Africa, the leaves are blanched squeezed out uh, the water and then a good amount of oil is heated in a pot where uh, onion, leek, garlic is sauteed. Then the leaves are added last and cooked in the oil along with the onion and leek until cooked. The leaves shouldn't be overcooked and turn into a vibrant green color. My recipe is altered as you can see, I want to reduce the amount of oil needed. 
So what I'm going to do is to cook my leek, onion and bell pepper after seasoning it on the stove until the water completely dries out. Then I will add uh, my spinach, a little bit of olive oil and just saute everything until it's cooked. And of course I will finish it up with a little bit of bouillon powder and ground uh, dry shrimp. We cook African food today so we have to have our little ground shrimp there. Here we go, very simple. Our spinach is ready. Now it's time for our rice fufu. I'm starting by pouring boiling water into a saucepan. Then I gradually incorporate the rice flour, all while mixing with a manual whisk. I'm doing so to avoid having lumps in my dough. Once everything is well mixed, then turn on the heat on medium-high and start cooking the dough. The texture will change and become harder as it cooks. Add a little bit of water, cover with the lid, turn the heat on low and let it simmer for three minutes or so. Then remove the lid and start kneading the dough with a wooden spatula over medium heat. Then add the potato starch, continue kneading the dough until you reach the consistency that you are going to see on the screen. So right there, this is the consistency you want. Divide your dough in the portion you like and wrap it in plastic wrap to keep it warm. Fufu is usually made just like that, no seasoning, because we eat it with spicy and tasty food already. In my country, we make it with cassava flour. In uh, other part of Africa, they make it with yam or even plantain with different techniques. So here we go, my friends. Everything we cook today, our gourmet sauce tomate au beurre, sauteed spinach, and rice fufu. I also made some steamed rice. We cook gourmet food. Let's make our gourmet plate. I have two plates today, one with steamed rice and the other one with the rice fufu. If you have enjoyed this video, give it a like, leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel, and set up the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future videos. Until next time, stay safe. Eh bien les amis, si vous avez aimé cette vidéo, likez, laissez-moi un commentaire, abonnez-vous et activez la cloche de notification pour ne pas rater mes prochaines vidéos. Merci et à la prochaine. I want to apologize for how I sound. Uh, I'm just getting over a cold. So because of that, I have a bonus video for you. My husband enjoying his fufu. Actually, it's just his hand. <laughs> anyway, um, this food is so tasty. And in Africa, we go to the market every day and buy fresh ingredients. So the food is just really, really good. Try this and let me know. Send me picture. Really, really, I want to hear from you. I want you to try this recipe. Okay, stay safe. And until next week, I'll try to come up with something special next week. Bye-bye.